So this is a tutorial how to use OTAP um, from Meshlium to send um, files across um, the, um, the WASP modes which are on the same network. Um, first of all what we need is um, the Meshlium obviously. Uh, what I had to do is copy the <coughs> the, the Meshlium the sorry the um, OTAP into into Meshlium um, and I normally put it in mount user OTAP so here we go second thing is once we're there we need to edit the XP conf so it's different than when you have it on um, from a network coordinator. Um, in this case, the port is TTYS0. I left the authentication key um, as Libelium and ID 1234 and error 15.4 for the model. And the channel is channel D. Now, the thing is, now with Meshlim, what you need to do as well is change the API mode of. Um, um, of uh, the XP uh, module that's that's inside the mesh layer, um, and you need to set it to AP1. It's very important uh, for you uh, to do that. Uh, after after all that is configured, um, what I'm going to do is log in uh, to mesh layer from the terminal view. So I'm I, I'm using a static IP 10.1.1.25. So you can customize that the way you want. So now this is the the MOTD of Meshlium. As you can see, I am now in inside Meshlium. Um, see, here you go. You've got all the folders. The whole operating system is pretty much there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to First, first step as well is you need to um, stop the um, the default um, d daemon so slash etc um, which one was it slash etc yep so slash etc slash init dot d slash zigbee scan d dot sh and stop so I've stopped it before that's why this command is there anyway so once you once you do that then you proceed to the folder where OTAP is located uh, user so it's an OTAP and similar here you will now what I have next to me is the actual wasp mode Mesh, uh, Meshlium is um, at the moment is in uh, an, another uh, another room, so I've got me I've got the wasp mode here and Meshlium in another room. So same procedure here, guys. So scan nodes, mode broadcast, and. Here we are. So on the mesh on the uh, wasp mode terminal, the serial monitor, I am able to communicate uh, with the mesh layer, which is very important. So once you establish this this communication, here we go. Now we're on the mesh layer um, uh, terminal. So what I'm going to do now is scan nodes. Sorry. I'm going to get all the programs that are on the SD card of the plus mode. Observe here.
excellent. So there you have it. We've got all the programs there. That's very good. So here we are. We have all these programs here. All right. Now what I'm going to do is, is um, upload a new program to it. Uh, I'm going to go to the original Wasmite folder, which is on my desktop. So it's right here. I will go. Sorry. Um, I will go to Sketchbook. And let's say I want to send it data program and I will go to applet and copy the hex file so you look for data.cpp.hex here we are so we copy that and I will place that in somewhere where you can access it on, on MeshLiam so usually I just have another folder call it hex files and I put it there So here we go. Now, the updated the hex file is now saved on the memory of the of the mesh layer. So what I'm going to do now is info pro, um, get the information about the, the, this new program I'm going to send. So slash mnt user hex update. So it should take about 100. 180 seconds to send. Uh, send file. Now I'm going to send it to the wasp mode. So mnt user x updater. And I'm going to use unicast. And I'll call it prog002. So I press enter. Now yeah, what's gonna what's happening now? Excuse me. Um, so what's happening now is that the Meshlium is sending the packets to the wasp mode, and hopefully that will um, finish without any without any problems. Okay, we're back now. Um, as you can see, it's nearly it's nearly completed. So I'll go see the status of it on the terminal. Here we are. Program received OK. So sorry uh, again. Um, so <coughs> now we know that the program is uh, received OK. I'm going to scan for the programs again, and hopefully I can start it. So here we go, now we know, as you can see, the number 6 is the newest program that we uploaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start new program, mode unicast, mac. Again, so I'll put the mac address 0013A200406918A9. PID is the program name, so PROG002. So once I press enter, I'm going to jump back to start with firmware K, new program is running. Okay, so I've successfully started sent and started um, a program using OTAP from, from MeshLiam. 
hopefully this was helpful and if there's any uh, comments or difficulties please contact me thank you